201. Our time is precious today because I want to try to accomplish two different tasks. So I want to get diving right in. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through um, that. Well, the presentation is, is mostly the instructions. So um, this week uh, was titled Take Me There. So we're uh, talking about uh, uh, maps, map apps. And the one that we're focusing on is uh, Google Maps. I want to do mention that as an aside, we have begun recording, just FYI. Um, uh, uh, and it came up yesterday because we also talked about this in the PC laptop class, you know, that there are other um, apps and services. Uh, it's certainly true. Um, some people still enjoy using MapQuest. Uh, Waze is another one I was not familiar with. It came up yesterday that many people said they've had good success with. Um, for the ease of our class, just focusing on Google Maps. Um, but yeah, let's let's dive in. We're going to practice today uh, getting directions on our on our mobile device. Basically, you know, thinking in terms of a phone, but certainly you could use your uh, a tablet for it as well, tablet iPad, um, and uh, setting the home and work on the on the phone or tablet, um, and then also uh, talking about sharing. So our practice involves sharing an image as well as an article from your mobile device. So we'll get right to it. As always, if anyone has a question or comment, dive right in. I um, cannot see the tiles anymore once I'm into the presentation. So just unmute. Um, just a little sort of brief overview of Google Maps um, that you can obtain directions by car, public transit, walking, cycling, even flights. Um, you can type in something in the search bar like restaurants near me or parks near me and um, find out, just find all those different types of establishments on a location. Uh, you can save favorite places. There's lots of different tools. We kind of went through yesterday on the PC class, uh, PC laptop class, that Google Apps through the browser. Um, I kind of feel like I use Google Apps, Google Maps rather, excuse me, on my phone um, a little bit differently, basically just for directions. Um, I might do something a little more involved on my laptop, but um, so. I took some screenshots on my phone of um, getting directions. I'm just gonna kind of talk through the process. So pulling up Google Maps, uh, this is sort of the first type of screen that you'll see. And excuse me, when I took the screenshot, it did a little volume <laughs> um, bar as well. But um, you have your search here where you type in your address or just the name of the location or an intersection, or like I said, if you wanna type in restaurants near me, whatever. At the bottom, you sort of have this task bar with some other dip different options. We'll get into that, but right now you're in Explore. And when that map that comes up when you first open the app is gonna be showing you kind of where you are. I did this here this morning, I'm at the South Eagle Community Center. And so that you can see is what's showing on my map. So, just for the sake of the exercise, I typed in South Euclid Community Center as my place. And I, the screen changes somewhat after I you know, enter that information and I have options for getting directions here at the bottom, I could call. If I slide over a little bit on the screen, there'll be some more options. Uh, perhaps a website might be on there. I'm not sure off the top of my head. But the main thing here in maps is probably getting directions and that's your first option. This little start would be giving you the, the voice instructions, FYI. So I press directions and this is the screen that comes up. 
Now, something I want to point out, whenever you start the um, direction search, you have your destination here and you always start with your location where the device knows that you are in space and time. So you can change that to another place. Obviously, I didn't have to go very far to get to <laughs> the South Euclid Community Center. But this little, um, these two arrows here is an interesting feature because when you tap on that, it will uh, transpose the destination and the start location. So you could get the reverse directions. I've definitely used that feature from time to time. So to the point, I start, I put in my start destination as Lyndhurst Community Center so that I would have an actual way to travel, right? And then my screen is, gives me this option for start. And that is, if I click on that, this is the screen that's gonna come up then I'm going to get actual step-by-step -step instructions where there's a voice talking to me, telling me, and it shows me on the map the way, the route to take and where I'm going to turn as you see up here. So this is kind of that um, people talked about um, Garmin and um, a scout as another sort of external device that they've used to get um, directions from in their car. And you can use this the same way on your phone with Google Maps. Does anyone have a question about finding, getting directions with Google Maps on their phone or tablet slash iPad? Okay, great. We'll press on. Okay, so you can also preset your work and home uh, on the phone or tablet. And you start again from just opening the app, you're in Explore. Um, this time after the last search that I did that incorporated Lynnhurst Community Center, I came up with a little bit bigger of a map when I first opened up the app. Um, as you see it, it kind of Tucked Lynnhurst in here, we can see the Mayfield Sand Ridge Club. <laughs> it's just, it's kind of interesting. It definitely is keeping track of, of what you've been doing. Um, anyway, so along this taskbar, along the bottom here, to get into where you do that preset, you'll click on the saved option. And then this is the screen that will pop up. Notice how Explorer is highlighted blue when I'm in the Explore page. And then when I go into Saved, now Saved is highlighted. You might have to scroll down a little bit. I had two saved places um, and I just scrolled down to the lists here. But you have Favorites, Labeled, Want to Go, and Starred Places as um, places where you could make lists. And inside of labeled, tap on that, you're gonna get this screen. And this is where you can set your home or your work address. And you just simply tap on home and it's gonna pop up that you can just type that in, what your home address. Or someone brought up yesterday that they had a reservation around putting their home address on Google map in case if someone hacked their device or if their device was lost. And the suggestion was made um, of putting in a significant landmark that is very close to the home. Uh, for example, the person lives near a, a certain Walmart. And so they, you know, they said, oh, I could put the Walmart in. Um, so something very close by, but that isn't their actual address. People have concerns about privacy, that's a workaround. Um, I truncated this for the purposes of putting this up here because something else that comes up when you uh, tap on that labeled, you'll get your home and work presets. And it also auto populated with a list of the people, um, my contacts in my phone 
that I have their addresses in my phone. So you might see that on yours as well when you pull that up and so that you could just quickly tap into your one of your kids' address or your friend, someone that you know you know you, you have your their address in your phone. So so Rebecca, we can't do that on the on the cell phone then how? So that that's the same thing I had yesterday. I, I don't see what you're talking about. Home and saving and all that. I don't see all that. So when you pull up the app map app, Google Maps, and you're on this first screen, when you're at the come to the bottom and do you see that saved? Oh. Okay. Okay, I see it. Okay, tap on saved. Okay, I tapped on it. And then tap on the labeled option. The label? Labeled, yep. Nope, don't see that nowhere. Scroll down nope. a little bit. I guess somehow Google must be automatically saving every place I go to. Hmm. So it says recently saved, nearby saved. Visited places I visited. Scroll down a little oh, bit okay. to get to where okay, it says your lists. Okay, I see it. Labeled. And then you'll get to that home and work where you can set the do the presets. Okay, so when I tapped on labeled, home and work. Okay. Yep. Another so success story. <laughs> Does anyone else have a question about doing that preset? Uh, Rebecca? Yes, ma'am. Um, I have Google Maps here on my iPad, and it doesn't look like what you have. I don't have a place to put home restaurants, gas. Um, I don't have all that stuff on the bottom that says explore, go. Do you have... Um, up in, I, I, I'm thinking in the upper left-hand corner, but it might be in a different corner, the three-line menu. Yes, there, I do. I have it. That. Okay, now I get something that says search here, and there's a little microphone, and then there's a map. When you tap on those three lines, does it not open out and give you a list of different options? No. Hmm. All right. Let me. Escape. What's this little thing in the corner? Screen share. Uh. Can you possibly hold up your tablet so I can see? I'll try. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Move it in closer to you so I can see the other side of the screen so that I know, like, pull it the other way so that I can see the other, the other corner, the upper left-hand corner. Hmm. Can't, I can't quite see the full thing. Art, did you have something? You're muted. Yeah, that yeah. tap on that hamburger, the three lines. Okay. Uh, let me see. And then you've got, okay, go ahead and hold, move that up a little bit so I can see it up the other way. Well. Move the device up the other way. Just raise it up the other way. Yeah. Oh, Miss Weber, I just can't, I can't see it. Yeah. So more. if you scroll down in that list, is it does that say your places at the top there? Yes, it does. Tap on your places. Okay, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, now I get lists, labeled, reservations, favorites, want to go, starred places. Labeled. Okay. And then do you have that home and work there? Right. So I, you tap okay. on home and you type in your home address and then tap on work. 
and you'll type in your work address and it might say something like Don or you know what I mean something like that to signify that yes that's the one um now on home Don I'm trying to find out how to type in the address so if you tap on it, it should then pull up a little screen that you can type. Yeah. Um, hmm. Let's see. Once you tapped on home. It says, no, it says, um, it doesn't give me a screen I can type in, no. It has my old, my former, I think it has my former address in there. Um, it's got a bunch of numbers, you know, so tells me it's 15 minutes. Of that old address, there should be a little X. Um, do you see an X by the old address? If you just tap on that X, it will take the old address away. Well, I don't have an address. I have a bunch of numbers, 41.527983. Um, well, I know where I live, I guess it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, but the purpose of getting the, in, the map instructions, the directions is if you're trying to get you know back home from somewhere. Right. Um, Let me tie these little dots. I, I'm a little stimmied by when you tap on uh, home, it should then pull up uh, like a keypad on the on the tablet for you to type in. Um, it says uh, underneath home, it says dropped pin. Dropped pin. And then it has work and underneath work it has my real address like your home address like where i'm living right yeah so at the end of the address line where it's for work is there an x at the on the right side at the right hand side of it no there's some dots tap on the dots under home or under work? Huh? Either. Uh, I'm afraid to because it'll disappear then. It says directions remove label. Um, so it, directions or remove label are your choices? Oh, here's one where it says remove home. I'm going to try that. Okay, now let me try. Oh, look, I can do it. Yay. Wow. All right. I'm going to let you press. OK, on. I got it. Thank you. You are welcome. You're welcome. Does anybody uh, anybody else need an assist with getting that preset in? All right, no. I'm going to press on to our sharing exercise. Oh. Some things I'd like you to just take note of. Um, these are several different icons, many on a similar theme. And when you see one of these, it's giving yes. you the option to share. I, could I ask that if everyone could please mute if you're not speaking just to keep down on the background noise. Um, but uh, yeah, if you see, this is a very, very common one. Also the arrow coming out of the box, see a variation on a theme there. I don't, I do not know these ones, the circle, but I don't know, you know, what kind of device that that's with. But uh, these are, are some common ones that, that you'll see. And if you see that, that's giving, like I said, giving you the option to share, you can tap on it and you're going to get the next step in sharing. So 
our first practice is to um, try to send an image to someone uh, via text message. That is a pretty general way that I will kind of try to share an image to just another person. So I, I'll open my, my text messages and then select the recipient. And on my screen, yours may be laid out a little bit differently, but on my screen, these are the options that I have to send some kind of text information. If I click into this bubble, that's where I would type my, my words, right? Um, this would open out this little camera icon would open up a little video that I could or um, that I could take a picture just right then to send. But I want to send an image that I've already taken a picture of. And so I'm going to choose this icon that is like this sort of landscape. This is sort of I think like to be, you know, mountains and a little sun. So I'm going to tap on. Uh oh, <laughs> got a little ahead of myself there. Um, I'm going to tap on that landscape icon and then my gallery is going to pop up and I'm going to tap on one or more of the images that I want to send to someone. So I just tap on it and that's going to select it. And then it's going to come back here to this sort of a setup again. And so now you see I have the same, the uh, image icon, the camera, this plus, we're not gonna worry about that right now. I could add some text here. Hey, look at this picture I took, whatever. Love these lilacs. And now instead of here, this was giving me an option to do a voice memo. I have my arrow because my, my device knows that I'm ready to send. I've picked my picture and I'm ready to send it out to my friend. So I'll click on that arrow, after, you know, text optional or not, if I want to write a message with my picture, and then it goes, hopefully, to the person that <laughs> I sent it to. I'd like to practice that. Um, if we can. Um, So if everyone can sort of open their text and you're going to choose your recipient. So I'm not really going to know if you've, <laughs> well, let me phrase it this way. Everyone that wants to, if you feel like this is a skill that you already have, then, you know, I don't want to belabor the point. So I don't see the image uh, icon. So when you open up your text messages, right? I'm trying to see who's who's Mary Salomon. Oh, hey, hey, Miss Salomon. Um, when you open up the text messages, what does your bar look like where you would type the text in? Uh, it says I message. And are there are there any little pictures of like a camera or anything? There's a camera and an app thing. Perhaps could you hold up the phone? A little, you'll a little closer to your to your camera. I can't really see it. And then raise the raise it up a bit. So along the bottom there, that what are the options? There's a bunch of different little buttons. Um, well, they're not labeled. What do they look like? There's one with a person. A picture? I think the picture. Okay. And that's labeled stickers. Oh, okay. Um, 
that's another feature that you can send a sort of, how about that little square with an arrow pointing up? Do you have that there? There's something then with images. I don't see the square, square, square with arrow. What is the images one? It says find images and there's like a bunch of movies. Well, when you click on find images, mm -hmm. what, what does that, what happens there? All these movies show up. But you don't have the square with the arrow that points up no. on your, on your taskbar from the original, when you're just in the text message. No. Let me um, screen share again. Someone could just show me on their iPhone what. I want to um, come back to this. Can you see my screen? Yes. Do you see anything that looks like this one? No. That's the Apple share icon. Um, so, well, yes, I think just along that same line of what you were just saying, Ms. Salomon, is there anyone who has an Apple, an iPhone that um, can show what that icon looks like? I'm sorry, I'll have to wait for a minute. Is, does what icon is you looking for? Android? Uh, Rebecca? Yes. Um, I have, well, I'm working on an iPad, but my thing looks like the same as she's describing when I'm trying to send a message. There's a picture of a camera. There's a picture of the app store. There's a place to type your message. And when I want to send a picture, um, I can tap on the camera if I want to take a picture mm -hmm. or if I want to use a picture that's already in the phone mm -hmm. underneath, there's one of those real colorful little things that means pictures. What does that one look like? Oh, uh, how can I, let me see if I can show you. It you looks the same as your picture. Yeah. On your home screen. Can you see it? So I see, uh, which one is the picture? Uh, the one that has, it looks like a flower and it has all different colors, red, yellow, green, blue. Do you see something like that, Miss Salomon? Something yeah, that looks that, like a flower? That's my, that's my reason. All right, so if you tap on that, you can go back into your stored pictures and it'll, it'll show up on the message. Awesome. And then you type in whatever message you want to send and then just send the message with the with the usual way you send a message. Okay, that works. Thanks. Okay. okay. Great. So it's the colorful flower. Glad right. to see everyone's okay over there, uh, Harriet. Um, all right. So you select the image. And then you can add any text if you want, and then click send, the send arrow. What I kept coming up with for Apple was, um, obviously I'm not trying to find it though. I'm not putting the correct wording in because I kept getting the square with the um, arrow pointing up for sharing, so. Um, all right, one more task. Um,
there's uh, just these sort of like written instructions, but we're going to go through. I don't know if anyone has seen this um, story about this little dog prancer. Uh, it really, I, I got a, quite a laugh out of it. This um, foster woman took in this dog, I believe in South Carolina, um, and just wrote these really long um, postings about like how crazed he was uh, in hopes of like in her frank honesty, finding someone who would want to adopt little Prancer. So I thought this, and then I saw today that he had found a home and I saw this on the New York Times. So I thought it was kind of funny. Um, this is what it looks like from New York Times. Again, different formats, different platforms rather use uh, different share icons. So going back to this, looking for something like one of these and on the New York Times, it's this arrow. So I'm looking at this article on my phone and I tap on to the share arrow and then my screen comes up like this. So these are some people that I've recently sent messages to. So they come up straight away. And then there's a whole list and I could scroll down and there's lots of other options. I could send a tweet, I could go on Instagram, I could go into, you see my, my drive here, um, lots of different locations. The places that I tend to send people messages um, or articles or sharing something like that is either through text or through my email. So in this instance, I'm gonna select a. Uh, of my recipient through a text. And so I tap on messages. That's what it says on my phone for text messages. And then this screen comes up and I'm gonna, I have the option here to type in and search for my friend's name. Um, so I put in and anyone is interested, Prancer is doing very well. He's been adopted. He has his own Instagram page. And as you can see, his new mom says he is out here living his best life. So in case anyone was wondering about Prancer, I thought he was really cute. Um, so let's try to send an article to someone. So you'd have to go to a, a site, a, a new site that you enjoy and select the share icon on a, on a news piece. I'll allow a few moments for to pull up these, something like that. Does anyone have a question in between times? Did you, you get my text? I sent one to you. You sent me a text? I think. Are you 71 at Gmail? Oh, you sent me an email. Okay. Well, I sent it as a text. I thought I'm not a texting specialist, but I, I tried to send you a text anyway. Let me see what my... Uh, may I share this? Did you see it? Yeah. May I share that? Sure. <laughs> All right. That's a great image. So really good use of the um, proof there, sending it to my email. Well, that was, that was a quick, uh, that was, that, that was a, uh, a guest that landed in our yard this summer. <laughs> Beautiful. Hawk, hey. yeah. Yeah. Just beautiful. But, 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 you know, I didn't use any kind of care mechanism. I just attached the picture basically through icons. But I did use the one icon you, you talked about when I went into photos, 
then there was a little icon that looked like that one that you were showing, unless it was just similar. That mountain but, with the sun. Yeah, yeah. I, I used that and that took me basically to my library of photos. Exactly. Okay, so I did, but, but I didn't really go through what I think your exercise was really, I think I sidestepped your exercise because I didn't really use any kind of a share icon. I did an attachment, basically. So that share icon was for, is for the, the article. Okay, okay. The, the photo, you know, I mean, yes, you did send me an attachment to my email. But yeah, and then that, that landscape photo and icon, the landscape icon is what took you into your gallery. The gallery, right. Okay. Yeah. I don't do a lot of it, but I learned on the fly from you. Thank you. Well, good. I mean, I feel like we all will at some point, you know, want to send a picture to our grandkids or, a, you know, a friend of uh, someplace we are, something that's happened. So I just want to try to get that, that skill together. Has everyone that is interested to try to practice sending an article to share with someone. Has everyone pulled up something of interest to them? Uh, this is John. I, I'm not sure uh, how to access a news article to, to pull something up. Do I do that on my phone or on my iPad? I mean, uh, my Mac Air, my laptop. Well, we're practicing on the phone today. Okay. So I would say do it on your phone and then you'd have to go to a new site. Um, perhaps, uh, do, you, do you, are there any, do you look at any news on your phone? No, but I could probably do uh, CBS or NBC or something like that, right? Sure. So you can do two things, Mr. Connolly, in this regard. You, you could go open up like Google Chrome and go to the website on your phone. Most news places um, will have uh, their own individual app. So if it's, a, if it's a source of news that you like to frequent, I myself, I have um, the BBC, and the New York Times and CNN, I have and NPR, I have their apps downloaded onto my phone because I know those are all places that I would like to go and check out the news at. Um, so, but you so you can download the app, that's one, or you can go on to just through the browser, you can go onto a website of a news provider that you like. Okay, I found a program now. I'm gonna I wanna send it to um, I pressed that the up arrow key, um, but I don't I don't I don't see a place of where to address it. So did you find uh, just an article? It was a uh, the front page of the paper uh, showing uh, President Biden and uh, at the at the um, joint session of Congress last night. Yes, yes. Yeah. So then, on that article, if you tap on that specific article, do you then see um, a, one of those share icons? Oh, let, me, let me find the article again. And, and I can pull those up to show you again. Yeah, on the very top on mine it is yeah generally on the right side i love on the it. iphone it's at the very bottom there you go <laughs> that's your that's yours yeah on okay. my... how different so the, it definitely is an oops different places on different um devices but something that looks like one of these mr connelly um that almost a triangle or the box with the arrow pointing up or the this, arrow to the side. Right, I have that, uh, the box with the arrow pointing up. 
I just wondering how do I address that to you? I mean, tap it. Pardon so me? tap, yeah, tap, tap on that little box. Okay. And then what do you see? It says, uh, it says today's paper, the Times print for April 29th, the front page and more. And then below it has a bunch of other stuff that's not related. Well, but are, are one, that stuff that's at the bottom, that's um, just is one of, are there options like your email or um, text messages? Yeah, messages there. Yeah. Tap on messages. All right, I, I did that. And then now there should be a, the screen where you're able to look up people who are in your phone. So this one, take sending it as a text message, you're not gonna specifically send to me mm -hmm. because you're gonna send it to somebody that's in your contact list. Okay. So yeah, you guys are on your honor with this exercise. I won't be able to check. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just you would just like if you type in um, one of your kids maybe or a friend like the first initials and then that it should populate with some of the people from your contact list. Or you could send it to my. I could send it to myself, right? Couldn't I? Yeah. Yep. That way you won't offend anybody. There you go. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody's so touchy these days. That's why I picked the Prancer uh, article. <laughs> I figured that I can't offend anybody with a Chihuahua, can I? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so, um, I'm on the New York Times uh, page, Facebook page, or, or whatever it is, a uh, web page, and I sent it to myself. So how, how would I go back to myself and find it? So if you minimize, on my phone, if I swipe up from the bottom left, it mm -hmm. minimizes. And then yeah. Top, do you have a push notification? Do you have a little circle with a with a number in it at the top of your phone that says, and then you'll you could see that you have a new message. No, I don't don't have that. Uh... All right. Well, how about if you open up your text message? text messages on your phone. Did you send it to yourself as a text or did you send it as an, as an email? I don't know, but uh, mm -hmm. actually it did come up as a message. So I did get it as a message on my phone. You sent it to yourself. Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> that's great it is it's a little victories you know <laughs> little victories that's right that's right yeah Make does anyone happy. else yeah does anyone else need a um sort of walk through on sending an article has has everyone that's I'm going to start sending uh, articles to my brother uh, just to, you know, get some repetition in and get some, some, you know, make maybe uh, learn how to do that better, you know. Feel For more sure. Yeah. And feel free if you when you get into that options part after you clicked the share icon and yeah. then it had different ways that you could send things. Mm -hmm. If you want to go into the email. You could send them to that my rebecca.color71 at Gmail. That's my the address that I send the link for the slides presentation and right. that communication. Feel free to send me anything that way if you to practice. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, I am pleasantly surprised that we, I thought I, I, I that's what I have planned for today. We're a, a few minutes early. Um, I'd be happy to try to take any other questions if anyone has. Um, I do. Around these or other subjects. Yes, Mel. I sent you a, a photo. See if you, yeah, I sent it to two emails though. Okay, let's see. Oh, I've got a few here. Yeah, because I, I sent you the first email and then you mentioned the second email, so I sent it.